recognize the AV in every one of its guises. That's right, the voice telling you that you can't do this, is the AV. The voice that says you can never have certainty is the AV. The voice telling you that you cannot or have not made the decision to never drink is the AV. The voice telling you that there is no point to go out and buy milk thistle is the AV. The AV is clever but you are not fooled. The voice telling you that you cannot recognize the deeper levels of the AV, is the AV. The voice that says you have tried this before and it hasn't worked, is the AV. Now think. Recognize. The fear that you cannot recognize the AV, is the AV itself. The AV is clever, but you are much more clever. You recognize the deepest levels of the AV. The AV is just a dumb beast. The voice telling you that you cannot deal with this, is the AV. The voice telling you that this should be easy and effortless, is the AV. The AV is fearful that you will use all your time and effort to destroy it. The AV is running scared. You have no pity for the AV, you have no need to show any remorse in your destruction of it. It is willing to let you suffer and die, so that it can get its fix. You are much bigger and stronger. You have a moral duty to kill the AV. It may never completely die, but you cut of its arms and legs, tie it down with the strongest rope and clap it in irons, every day, you double the bonds on the rope and check that your prisoner is still suffocating. If you could kill it with one bullet, you would. If you could stab it through the heart and watch it crumble, you would. But unfortunately for the beast, it does not have the luxury of a quick death. You watch your old friend withering away, you watch it losing all strength. You watch with dispassion as it cries for help, as it cries to be fed. You do not care for this creature, it is the beast of alcohol. It is the beast created by an evil poison. You take responsibility for the creation of this beast. From the first ingestion of this toxin, it was born. You do not feel sorry for its death or its tortured cries. You offer it no quarter, no hope. This is the kindest thing you can do to this weak and ravaged creature, you can offer it no hope. Over time it will learn to accept that it is powerless, it will shrink and calcify, it will withdraw its neural pathways from your emotion centers. It will do this because for it to continue to feel without its substance will be a torture to it. But you will remain vigilant. It will attempt to escape and hide in new ideas. It will withdraw its claws from your emotions, but it will sit and wait, looking for a time when it can intellectually offer you another drink, looking for a time when it can try to persuade you that you can take one little hit. It wants to feel again, and it recognizes that its only opportunity to do so will be if you give it another taste of its fuel. It feels deprived and scared. It feels helpless. But all it wants to feel is bliss. It wants to feel bliss at your expense. It wants to feel bliss more than it wants to live. It would rather you die, in pain, just so it can be fed one more time. Once time passes. Once it realizes that there is no help coming to it, it will stop feeling and wait. But you are always vigilant. You recognize it at every turn. You recognize it for the dumb quadriplegic that it really is. You recognize its silver tongue, always hopeful of another taste. And you watch it. You watch it as it writhes in pain, you watch it protest like a child denied its favorite toy. You watch it give up on crying and decide to try another way. You watch it as it tries to plant seeds of future drinking, you watch it as it tries to convince you that it still has power above you. You are not fooled. You recognize your enemy for exactly what it is. It is a dying entity. It is a ruthless, charming, selfish, opportunistic, single-minded, murderous beast. You feel no remorse, you show it no mercy, as you watch this twisted creature shrivel and contort. You allow it to slip away, ever watchful for signs of its return.
Your guardians stand at the gates of your conscious mind, they alert you the instant they even get a sniff of this beast. You stand with your guardians, battle hardened and ready. If the beast attacks, you ride forth with 40 warriors, each 100 times stronger than the beast, you are all ruthless killers, you show no mercy. You have an army of a thousand diplomats, security and spies, each 100 times smarter than the beast. They block its requests, its reasoning and its lies. These are your highly trained special forces, they notify you every time there is an espionage attempt by the beast. You ruthlessly acknowledge every encounter with the addicted beast. You will never allow yourself to be fooled by it again. You take complete responsibility, now and at every moment in the future for your continued sobriety. You are free.